Hello students, welcome to our Excel Academy's YouTube channel. Now we know that market structure is a very important concept for any economic student. We should have clarity on different types of market structures and their features. There are different types of market structures. They can be broadly classified into two categories. One is the perfect competition and other is the imperfect competition. Now, under imperfect competition, we have monopoly, duopoly, oligopoly, monopolistic and uh, the monopoly type of markets. But under perfect competition, we don't have any subcategories. It is important for us to know the features of each of these markets and try to also learn the difference between perfect competition market, monopoly market and the monopolistic market. In this video, let us focus on trying to know the differences between perfect competition market monopoly market and the monopolistic market. Now, uh, let us see the difference between perfect competition and monopolistic competition and the monopoly competition. Here we have lined up the most important differences amongst all the three uh, market structures that we have and it is very important for us to remember this. Now, the first one has uh, the we have taken uh, five columns. Here we have the serial number and here we have the reference or the basis on which we'll be differentiating it. We have the perfect competition, monopolistic competition and the monopoly competition. Now, let us see uh, how does it work. Now, number of sellers and buyers is the most important uh, point to be remembered. In perfect competition, there are large number of buyers and large number of sellers. Same thing holds good with monopoly also. But when it comes to monopoly market, we have to understand that there will be only one seller. Very, very important. This can be an MCQ question also. How many sellers would be there in a monopoly market? It is always one. And the best thing about monopoly market is there are no close substitutes also. This is something which we have to remember. In monopoly market, there is one seller and there are no close substitutes to the goods and services that are produced by that one seller. And that's what makes him the monopoly. That's what makes him to have monopoly over the market. The second uh, difference uh, that we are talking about is the product. Now, when you talk about the product in perfect competition market, although there are large number of producers, all of them produce homogeneous products. Now, what do we understand by the word homogeneous? Homogeneous is same. There is absolutely no difference between the goods and services that are produced by the in the perfect competition market by the players. But when it comes to monopolistic competition, the products are differentiated. You can also call it as heterogeneous products are produced. So what does it mean? It means that the goods that are produced by one seller is different from the goods that are produced by the other seller. Take the example of, uh, uh, say, detergent uh, markets. If you take uh, uh, Surfexel and Ariel, they are two premium brands in the market, but they are different. Although they do the same job, they are different in their color, texture, price, everything. So that is the example for heterogeneous products. Here in the monopoly market, the goods can either be homogeneous or it can be differentiated. It is up to the monopolist to decide what sort of a good he is going to produce. Next important difference is the pricing. Now, what happens here? If you see here, there are large number of uh, producers. They all produce homogeneous set of products. So there is absolutely no differentiation. Everybody are providing the same type of goods or service. So they will not have any bargaining power. Hence, the pricing that is followed is uniform. We can also call it as they are price taking market. Now, whatever the uh, supply and the uh, demand dynamics decide in the market, the market dynamics based on that their pricing is decided. Now, when it comes to monopolist, although there are large number of producers, they all produce differentiated goods as a result of which they are in a position to set the price for the goods and services that they are selling in the market. Hence, the price is also differentiated. And it is a price making market. Very important. This can be an MCQ question. Perfect competition is a price taking market, whereas monopolistic competition is a price making market. But when it comes to monopolist, here it can either the price can either be uniform across the market where the products are sold or there can be something called discrimination pricing. Very, very important. Please remember this. This can be an MCQ question. What is the pricing technique in monopoly market? It can be price discrimination. Let us take an example. See, there are three kind of customers who go to a monopolist to purchase a product. The first one is a kid of eight years. The second one is a 25 year old person. And the last one is a 60 year old person. Now, if you see, this is a small kid. He is an young adult and he is an 
elder citizen so what happens here is the uh, let us say the general price of this good is 100 rupees the kid may get a discount and the kid may have to pay just 60 rupees and the senior citizen may also get a discount and he may have to pay only 50 rupees the good is the same but the pricing is different so this kind of a pricing technique is called price discrimination and this can be followed only by the monopolist the last difference here is about the entry of the markets in perfect competition market there is free entry and free exit anybody can enter and anybody can exit but when it comes to monopolistic competition not absolute freedom there are barriers i am not telling there are absolutely no barriers there are barriers but they are not very high barriers which stops everybody from entering but when it comes to monopoly market it is not possible for anybody else to enter because there are barriers barriers can be political in nature legal in nature technological in nature social or cultural in nature or economic in nature barriers can be of any type but there are very very high barriers or it can be a combination of all these barriers also so which stops others from entering this kind of a market so these are few very important differences between perfect competition market monopolistic market and the monopoly market if you have any doubts please leave your doubts in the comment section we shall get back to you with the right answers thank you so much 